It's one of the highest minimum wages in the country and the first time state lawmakers have mandated a minimum wage for just one industry. Supporters say it's time for the billion dollar corporations to pay a living wage. How's it going? But many franchise owners, like Jessica D'Ambra, who runs 11 McDonald's around L.A., say the law puts an unfair strain on their businesses already operating on slim margins. Do you feel targeted that it's specifically for fast food? Yes, and I think people just don't realize that. They see this big McDonald brand and just think, oh, they've got all the money in the world, and it's just that's not at all how it is. McDonald's, Chipotle, and Starbucks already saying they plan to raise prices to offset the rising labor costs. Pizza Hut preemptively laid off 1,200 delivery drivers like Michael Ojeda. I was very frustrated. A lot of us got our jobs taken from us. He was let go after eight years. What's the point of the raise if you don't have a job anymore? 